A uh, lesser prairie chicken is a species of bird that uh, lives in a small segment of the North American grasslands uh, in eastern New Mexico and western Kansas and western Oklahoma. It's quite a unique species. Uh, it's a member of the grouse family. And, uh, and so as such, it has quite an interesting personality. Uh, it's a ground-dwelling bird. And uh, unfortunately, the population of lesser prairie chicken has declined really rapidly over the last hundred years or so. Because of what we as a society have chosen to use our grasslands for. Um, the grasslands are the breadbasket of North America and as such uh, we've seen extensive conversion of the grasslands for agricultural crops. Uh, there's a lot of oil and gas activity that have occurred in the grasslands, particularly in southeastern New Mexico. And so as a result we've had this enormous habitat loss and um, without that appropriate habitat, the lesser prairie chicken hasn't been able to breed and, and reproduce, so their population has dropped by about 97 percent in the last hundred years. We're fortunate in New Mexico, in eastern New Mexico, because we have one of the largest remaining populations of lesser prairie chicken. The reasons for that huge population um, still existing there um, are essentially because that habitat is largely intact, although it's still highly threatened. We have what's called a shinnery oak grassland system there that gives the birds a little bit of cover so that they can lay their um, uh, eggs in the nests on the ground. And, um, and basically the, the area has not been developed in the same way that other areas in Kansas and Nebraska and, and Oklahoma have in terms of the intensive agricultural development. The prairie chicken's uh, breeding period runs from, oh, around mid-April until about mid-May or so. So it's about a month-long period uh, during which the birds congregate in these open areas called leks. And a lek is an open area where the males can come in and basically try to pick up a date for, from a female who's walking around the perimeter. And there's generally a much greater concentration of males than females. There are 10 or so males for every female. As such, the, the, the males are in this highly competitive mode. And uh, uh, so the, the female walks into the lack and the males get all excited and they start you know, bouncing off each other and jumping and puffing. And uh, so essentially, if, if the male is successful in, in breeding with the female, the me, ma female will go off and lay eggs and the female lays up to 13 eggs, um, uh, of which most will hatch um, within the next two or three weeks. And uh, unfortunately, though, be through natural predation, etc., only usually one or two of those um, uh, hatchlings will actually survive. <laughs> well, if we lost the lesser prairie chicken, I think probably uh, the ecosystem wouldn't collapse in and of itself. Certainly, it, would, it's, it is a source of uh, food for some of the local predators. But really, I think as much as anything, the lesser prairie chicken is an incredible symbol or icon of, of our prairies and our, and our grasslands of North America. And so I think as much as anything it would be just a tremendous loss for us as a society and for our culture um, to lose yet another just amazingly charismatic species that really once just was dominant in, in the grasslands of North America.